In order to work with images, you need an image editor. If you don't have any such a software, there is the alternative of going online. One of these examples is picnic.com. It is definitely limited, but it's free and it's easy and will do a lot of the jobs you need for everyday applications, like for instance, resizing a photo. So let's go to that website. And on the first page, click Get Started Now. And then you might choose to register to get yourself a free account. Then when you come back to it, you just sign in and off you go. But you don't even have to do that. We're already on the Home tab. When we click on the Photos tab, we really get going. You're given the choices of where to get your photo from. You might have some of them parked online somewhere and you can access those. Or in my case right now I'll just get it from my computer. Click on Get Photo. Now you have to find a photo that's going to work. Let's say you want just a headshot. And if you pick one of a person where the head or the face is just a tiny little part of the photo, you have to zoom in a lot and throw out a lot of information and your quality will suffer. If you pick one where the face takes up a good deal of the image itself, you will end up with a much better quality photo in the end. So I'm going to go with this guy. It will upload that photo and then already puts us in the edit tab. Here you have a number of choices of things you can do to your photo and they can be fun to play with but in my case I'm gonna go straight to crop because that's all I want to do for now up here it makes it very easy because it lets me choose a preset of a hundred by a hundred pixels for an avatar which is what oh.com wants so it puts this square box on top of your photo and you just move it around resize it and keep playing with it until you get it in exactly the same spot in, in the right spot where you want to have it in the end you will end up with the hundred by hundred pixels that are required so when you're happy click on OK and there it is. Resizing a photo that small makes it a bit, little bit blurry so you need to sharpen it but be careful if you go overboard it will look awful just a little bit of sharpening is all it takes click on OK to accept that change and then you could go to create and add text or shapes or frames or you can play with a number of different effects if you like in my case I won't bother, I'll go straight to save and share, give it a sensible name, and then as for the compression quality, it's a good start. If you save the photo and you find it's more than the 20 kilobytes that OH.com wants you to have, you need to come back here and lower the quality a bit and try again click on save photo it will apply all those changes save it to your computer and that's it you're done you're ready to upload your profile pic